Let's talk about some skincare. Um, <laughs> hi guys, so as you can tell, I'm in my kitchen today. Mostly because in my apartment, I have like a, um, like a loft apartment and the bathroom is like on one side and it just, it doesn't really get good light. So we're doing this in the kitchen today. Okay. <laughs> I really did not expect this to be so difficult to talk with. It's kind of becoming a little bit of a fail here. There we go. Before I put my little beard back on, let me just say a couple things, okay? First of all, this routine changed my skin. If any of you guys remember, I'm sure a lot of you do if you've been watching my videos for a while, my skin used to be like so crazy sensitive. It broke out all the time. I would get like little constellations all over my forehead and we would joke about it and it was a whole thing. Um, and I swear my skin has just completely changed with some of the tips that I'm gonna tell you guys about and the products I'm gonna tell you guys about. And second thing that I wanted to preface this video with saying, wait, what? <laughs> second thing I wanted to say before we get into this video is that I have very dry skin now. I used to have oily skin, I have super dry skin. So this, uh, I mean, I hope that it helps all of you guys that watch this, if you get a chance to try out these, this little routine, but specifically my dry skin guys and girls out there, I think this is gonna really, really help you guys out. So again, favorite mask that I use all the time, couple times a week at least, the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydro Gel Mask. Such a good one for dry skin. And again, I've talked about this for years, but I really do think that this helps keep that moisture locked in while we sit here i actually wanted to tell you guys oh my god my leg is stuck while we sit here i wanted to tell you guys about water and i've mentioned this before oh my gosh wow i like got this on really well i hope i don't jinx myself but it's not moving so i can talk to you guys while i have this on water 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 is so important for your skin okay i know i really emphasize that but it's really really true so i talked about this once before but when you have dry skin and if any bacteria or oil from your hands or whatever gets on your face i know right now obviously we're not supposed to be pretty much touching our face at all especially if we go out Outside for any reason but we're supposed to be quarantined so I hope you're not going outside but besides the point anytime your hands touch your face if there's any oil if there's any bacteria if there's any anything and you have dry skin that immediately will form a pimple because your skin does not produce enough oil to push out the sebum or whatever right away so the only way that if you have dry skin that you're gonna help keep your skin as clear as possible is if you're drinking a ton of water i literally drink like five to six of these bottles a day and this is what 40 ounces 1.8 liter or 1.18 liters worth i drink i try to drink as much as possible sometimes it could be four sometimes it could be three sometimes it could be six bottles like depending on how i'm feeling obviously but i just drink as much water as possible because what's gonna what's gonna happen is that that water pushes out whatever is under the skin and helps keep your skin breakout free. That is the number one tip more than any other product, more than anything else that I'm gonna say in this video that I need to tell you guys about because it literally changed my life. And I learned about this through a uh, esthetician and registered nurse. So I'm not just making this up. Like it, it's, it really is true and it really does help, especially if you have that dry skin. Cause if you have oily skin, sometimes your natural oils can help push out the bacteria itself um but even so whether you have dry skin normal skin oily skin water is like a savior and i also feel like it makes my under eyes like plumper or something like it it doesn't it just makes the wrinkles kind of like go away i really see a difference whenever i drink water and that's something we, that we could all do you know like especially right now while we're home drink as much as you can Oh my god, it's hard to drink with this on my nose. I feel like, um, what's it called? Voldemort. <laughs> I'm gonna go through and apply all the products like serums, oils, moisturizers, etc. But obviously I've already cleansed my face, so I'll just talk about these really quickly. My favorite cleanser of all time is this Kate Somerville Goat Milk Moisturizing Cleanser. <gasps> oh my god, it's so good, especially if you have dry skin, again, um, because it actually looks like a lotion. And when you apply it and just like get it all over your face, it really moisturizes the skin as you're cleansing. Um, if you want a drugstore option, what I would recommend is the CeraVe Hydrating Facial Cleanser. I've used this guy. Ooh. 
I got it right onto the Kate Zimmerman one, but let me put a little bit right. Oh my God, what is happening? There are you. I've used this one for a long time. I'm sure you guys have heard me talk about this one again. Okay, this mask is just really not working. I don't personally feel like cleansers are going to be life-changing because it's just not on your skin as much as like a serum or an oil or something of that nature. Uh, you're really just using it to get off you know, your makeup, the dirt, the oil that's on your face. So I think using something that's gentle, that works for your skin is great. It's not gonna be life-changing, but something that you enjoy is obviously great. And that's how I feel about the goat milk one. Okay, so finally we're done with that. Oh my God, I literally feel like I couldn't like properly talk with that on. Also look at like, I feel like my quarantine glam is coming to a close end. Like my lashes on this side, my lash extensions are like all falling out and then this side's like fine. So when I look straight, I feel like it looks like I'm super, super lopsided or something. Like, do you see this? And then <laughs> these two nails <laughs> broke, but I can't go to the nail salon. So I super glued them back on. I don't know if you could even tell, but it looks so wretched. <laughs> like I'm actually kind of embarrassed when I feel like people are looking at my hands. I'm like, ah! Once I take the mask off, I usually like press that um, serum that was on the mask into my skin, but my skin already like slurped it up because I'm so dry. But the next step that I go in with is this Shiseido Ultimune. So this is not a serum. It's actually a concentrate and it is, it's like a, <sighs> mm, 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 mm. I've never really seen anything else like this, but pretty much it's like what I would describe as like a booster, like it boosts other products. So you want to use this first so that anything else you put on top of it basically works like two, three times harder at what you want it to do. This is expensive, but I feel like it's a really good investment because it's basically gonna make all your other products work better and it smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. I love it. And then I'll go in with my Onexin, which I know you guys have heard me talk about again. This is probably the only product I would say that really helped clear my skin. It's a benzoyl peroxide, so obviously you have to see whatever works for your skin, benzoyl peroxide or salicylic acid. I've definitely found that benzoyl peroxide is like key for me. And I only put this on once a day now, but basically, put about, a, I don't know, like a two pea size amount, two peas sized amount and I'll put it all over my face and this helps protect against the bacteria that usually causes you know breakouts or pimples and it really has helped my skin stay clear as much as possible this is a prescription one so that's why I haven't really like I don't know I, I don't talk about it too often but I really do feel like it's made a huge difference for me obviously you have to see a dermatologist or somebody to prescribe you this but if you've tried a lot of other things and nothing else has helped really really cool not cool but like really helpful i guess you could say i love the summer friday cc me serum it's a really great one for oh my god am i out Ugh. i'm literally out no um but that's all i have left and i usually use a lot more than that but it's really good for hyperpigmentation clearing scars brightening the skin illuminating the skin it has vitamin c in it so it really, really helps to get you that like radiance. You can see like as soon as I put it on, it makes my skin more radiant. I need to get a new one because I just obviously ran out. Um, hmm. Hmm. This is another one of my favorites, the Clarins Double Serum. Really great for dry skin because it's a double, like it's a two-in-one hydric and lipidic serum. So it's gonna lock in that moisture, create a moisture barrier so that your skin actually stays feeling good, feeling hydrated. You know what I'm trying to say? I feel like this is what keeps my skin looking glowy and radiant throughout the day. And then what I like to do is take my Clarisonic. So this I would say is like my little secret weapon for really sculpting the face. Um, this is the massage head. And all I do is after I take my serum, I'll go in my jawline and then also my cheekbones and like basically just massage upwards in an upwards motion. And this has amazing anti-aging benefits. It helps like obviously I love doing it with my serum because it helps get the serum into my skin even better. And do you see how when I'm molding like when I'm pressing this into skin 
it almost like molds under the cheekbones. I swear it makes a huge difference in my jawline and how like snatched my cheekbones look. So something that I always love incorporating into my skincare routine. Are we snatched? Are we snatched up? Um, okay, also I wanted to mention a really good drugstore option for serum if you are looking for one. The Neutrogena Hydra Boost Hydrating Serum with Hyaluronic Acid is one that I would highly recommend um, just because it is very, very moisturizing. I'll put a little bit on the back of my hand for you guys. Super, super moisturizing. Has a great consistency. It's lightweight. It feels good on the skin. It's going to keep that moisture in. It's going to keep that moisture in. And it's just a really good option if, again, if you're looking for, you know, an affordable option. Next up, we've got Kate Somerville Dermal Quench Wrinkle Warrior Hydrating Treatment. Advanced Hydrating and Plumping Treatment. This is such a cool product. If you've ever heard of Kate Somerville, she's a celebrity facialist and she has like a clinic here in LA and she's pretty much known for like oxygen facial and this my friends is like basically an oxygen facial but an at-home version so she created this little spout um, and it pretty much gives you the same benefits as that oxygen facial in the sense of like really getting that hydration into the skin and you could see like when it comes out it actually sprays out and then it releases the ingredients onto the skin and it really helps keep my skin as moisturized and plump as possible so I'll put that on, but pretty much all my products that I love and I feel like have really changed my skin are for keeping it hydrated because I found that for me, hydration is key like from literally what I'm drinking all the way to what I'm putting on my skin. Um, and then obviously keeping acne at bay with using like a benzoyl peroxide or a salicylic salicylic acid whatever is gonna work best for your skin um, so then I go in with an oil this is my absolute favorite oil the Delo oil age defying oil from Kate Somerville I literally love her products like this is not sponsored at all but I just feel like they really make a difference in my skin like I could see it I could see oh my gosh am I shaking the camera my foot was on the tripod but I could really see a difference in my skin so that's why obviously I love it and with oil you want to rub it in to your hands first and then press the product into the skin because if you rub it into the skin, it's gonna act like a cleansing oil and it's gonna remove whatever you have underneath. So with oils specifically, serums too, but I think like oils really, like watch out for this. We want to be pressing the ingredients and the nutrients into the skin. Glowy we are getting. I love doing my skincare routine. And again, if you're looking for an affordable option, I would recommend the Derma E Radiant Glow Face Oil, um, another one of my all-time favorites. And obviously, no matter how old you are, definitely you want to be using an eye cream. Um, so I'm going to use the Murad Retinol Youth Renewal Eye Serum. Really great one because it has retinol in it, so it's going to help, you know, protect against wrinkles, fine lines, and anything like that. And you want to use eye cream every morning and every night, no matter how old you are, because I feel like it's just such a good, you know, preventative measure. Even if you don't have wrinkles yet, you want to keep it that way. <laughs> Neutrogena Hydro Boost Water Gel. I feel like for moisturizers in general, I, I like to look for things that are lightweight because obviously when you're wearing makeup, you don't want something super heavy. Nighttime is a little different, but this is more like my daytime skincare. You don't want anything that's going to clog your pores. You just want to keep your skin nice and hydrated because if you if I use something too heavy on my skin it immediately clogs my pores and I will get a breakout like literally the next day so lightweight hydrating is key and if I have any left I'll literally just put it everywhere because why not and then for nighttime I highly recommend this fresh Lotus Youth Preserve Dream Face Cream. It's so good. Every single time I use this at night, I wake up and the next day, like my skin is just glowing. I feel like it gives my skin like a drink of water or something overnight and it just does so much for the skin. Like it, it really feels nice. My skin, you know, sometimes you wake up and your skin feels like, uh, like whenever I use this, my skin's like, yeah, whatever you did, I love you. Um, yeah, that's my skin talking there and it smells so good too. <sighs> smells like peach or something like peaches and cream sunscreen sunscreen is super important as well i love this one from shiseido so it's their ultimate sun protector lotion 50 plus um synchro shield wet force and heat force so oh my gosh <laughs> the reason why i love this one you have to shake it up really really well but you'll see it's a cool consistency it's very liquidy 
but it's not completely white so it's actually like it turns invisible do you see that so obviously there's no flashback we love that um, and then on top of that, it is, like I said, wet force and heat force. So basically, you know, a lot of sunscreens, when they get super wet or if it gets past a certain temperature, it stops working. And this one's going to work no matter what, pretty much. And again, now that we have that oil on, you want to press all your other products onto the skin. So we did eye cream. Obviously, you guys know I love my Derma E Scar Gel. If you're dealing with acne scars at all, please try this out. This is the number one thing that helped me when I was going through all my breakouts and everything. Um, this helped heal them so much faster than they would have otherwise. And I think I've been using this for probably, I don't know, three years straight, maybe even more at this point. But whenever I have like a little scar, I'll put this on morning and night, even sometimes during the day if I'm not wearing makeup and it heals it like double as fast, if not triple as fast as it would without because my scars stay a really long time if I don't do anything so I love this scar gel for speeding up the process of that those scars like um what's it called going away disappearing <laughs> Tachikisu lip mask my favorite so good so moisturizing on the lips it like feels like really juicy all right and that is it that is the skincare routine that seriously has changed my life like I swear I, I never thought that my skin would look this clear um, and this consistently glowy, radiant, moisturized, hydrated. Um, I think the number one thing to think about when you're looking at your skincare routine is am I doing something for, you know, my problematic areas? For me, it was breakouts. So obviously, I got on the benzoyl peroxide product. It's called Onexin. I don't know if I even mentioned that, but yeah, it's called Onexin. Um, drinking water is like, I can't even stress how important that was for me and how much that helped my skin in general. Um, and then on top of that, since I have dry skin, really moisturizing and hydrating and all that. So I love you guys. I hope you're staying safe. Um, again, let me know whatever you want to see right now. Um, you know, while we're, while we're all stuck at home. Um, and I hope this helps you out. If you're dealing with anything, just know you're going to get through it. And I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.